Welcome to our lesson on solving complex problems with speed. So in this question, we have a car journey broken down into two parts. We have the first part where we travel for 75 minutes at 64 kilometers per hour. And then the second part where we travel 30 minutes at 40 kilometers per hour. And we've been asked to work out the average speed of a journey. So to represent this information more clearly, I'm going to draw a timeline where we have our start and our finish. And in the first part, we've got 75 minutes at 64 kilometers per hour. And in the second part, we've got 30 minutes at 40 kilometers per hour. And to work out the average speed of a journey, we're going to use the formula speed is equal to distance divided by time. And in this question, you can see the units of speed is kilometers per hour but we've been given the time to minutes. So before I go any further, I'm gonna convert these times into hours. We know 75 minutes is 60 minutes plus another 15. And 15 minutes is one quarter of an hour. So the 75 minutes is also 1.25 of an hour. And 30 minutes is half of 60 which is 0.5 of an hour. So now we can go back to our formula for speed, where we know the total time is 1.25 plus 0.5 of an hour, which is 1.75. So now we need to work out the total distance. Well, I can do this for the first part of our journey because the distance will be the product of the speed and the time. The speed is 64 kilometers per hour. And the time is 1.25 hours. And this division of hours and multiplication will cancel. So we're left with 64 kilometers multiplied by 1.25, which is 80 kilometers. We can do the same for the second part of our journey where we've got the speed is 40 kilometers per hour multiplied by the time of 0.5 hours. And this division and multiplication will cancel. So we're left with 40 kilometers multiplied by 0.5, which is 20 kilometers. So now we can work out the total distance, which is the sum of the 80 and the 20 which is 100 kilometers. So the average speed is 100 kilometers divided by 1.75 hours, 57.1 kilometers per hour. Okay, let's move on to the next question. So again, in this question, we've got a journey broken down into two parts. We've got the Ashton to Leeds, which is 12 miles, and the Leeds to Oldham, which is 15 miles. And we're told in the question, the average speed from Ashton to Leeds is 40 miles per hour. And the average speed from Leeds to Oldham is 30 miles per hour. And to work out the average speed from Ashton to Oldham, again, we're going to use speed is equal to distance divided by time. We know the total distance is the sum of the 12 miles and the 15 miles, which is 27 miles. So now we need to work out the time for both. So the time from Ashton to Leeds, we can use a formula again, where the time is now the distance divided by the speed, which is 12 miles divided by 40 miles per hour. The division of miles and the multiplication of miles will cancel. So we're left with 12 divided by 40, which is 0.3 of an hour. And for the second part of our journey, we know the distance is 15 miles, the speed is 30 miles. So the time would be distance of 15 miles divided by 30 miles per hour, which is the speed which is 0.5 hours. So to work out the total time, we add up the 0.3 from Ashton to Leeds and the 0.5 from Leeds to Oldham, and we get 0.8. Now 
we can put this back into our formula 27 miles divided by 0.8 hours gives us a speed of 33.75 miles per hour okay let's try one more question so do you want to try this question yourself you can pause the video and resume it when you're ready so for this question we've been asked to work out a time and it tells us in the question that he drives past stop a at 10 a.m so i'm going to include that on our diagram and we've been asked to work out the time at which he reaches point c we've also been told that the speed from a to b is 50 miles per hour and from b to c it is 60 miles per hour so i'm going to work out the time from a to b and the time from b to c i can add these two together and then we can work out the time at c so to work out the time i'm going to use the formula speed is equal to distance divided by time so the time is the distance divided by the speed which is 20 miles divided by the 50 miles per hour which is 0.4 hours and for the second part of our journey we'll draw the diagram again and we know the time is the distance divided by the speed which is 35 miles divided by 60 miles per hour and this works out as 7 twelfths of an hour so to work out the total time I'm going to add the two parts of our journey together which is 0.4 hours plus the 7 twelfths which is 59 over 60 or 59 minutes so we can work out the time we arrive at C by adding the 59 minutes onto the 10 a.m. and we get 10 59 okay thank you very much for watching and i hope you found that useful thanks again and take care